welcome back to Thursday Cooking with Kevin. And you know what? We are only eight days away from Christmas. Yep, just slightly over a week. This week, I have a very quick meal that we're gonna make, and we are making, I gotta look at my list, crock pot, chicken, and dumplings. Sounds very delicious, very easy. It takes about five hours in the crock pot. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna bring you back here in just a couple of seconds at a different angle so that you can see what's going on. Okay, we are ready to start getting this prepared. Before I do that, I'm gonna read you what we have for ingredients. We have one large onion diced. I've already got it done. These are pre, uh, Kelly and I bought a huge bag of onions uh, quite some time ago and Kelly chopped up over half the bag and we have frozen them so that way they're uh, ready to use we don't have to keep chopping up other onions so we use that one can of cream Campbell's cream of celery the next one calls for a can of cream of chicken soup but we've mixed it up a little bit and we are doing a can of Cream of bacon. Uh, one tablespoon of fresh parsley. We didn't get fresh parsley, but I have some. We normally always have stuff like that in the cupboard. Uh, one teaspoon of poultry seasoning. So you can use sage or the poultry seasoning. I have both. I pulled out the poultry seasoning. And that's what we'll use. Uh, some black pepper to taste. I won't be adding too much of that in. Four uh, skinless, boneless chicken breasts. It also has mentioned in there you can use uh, boneless chicken thighs. We're going with the chicken breasts. Two cups of low sodium chicken broth. Well, I don't know if it's low sodium, but this is our homemade chicken broth that Kelly made. We had a small chicken the other night and Kelly boiled the rest of the bones and everything. So, and it made a really nice, uh, chicken broth and plus I add some bouillon to it as well just to add a little bit of flavor two cups of frozen vegetables I like this I say two cups of frozen vegetables peas and carrots defrosted so it's not two cups of frozen anyways uh, they're not going to be added till later I probably have about three cups I got a mixture uh, of peas some uh, carrots and parsnips and these were vegetables that Kelly and I got uh, a little while ago. And once again, we just cut them up, put them in the freezer, keep them around for, uh, for recipes. And the last one is one can of refrigerated biscuits. So we went out and bought uh, some country biscuits from the store, the Pillsbury. They are delicious. We just had some. Kelly made some the other day. We had some egg salad on it. Oh, they were so good. These particular ingredients, the vegetables and the biscuits, are not going to go in until about an hour, uh, when there's an hour left in the cooking time. So aside from that, let's get started. I'm just going to grab a fork here so I'm not touching the, uh, the chicken. Uh, so we're just going to... Put the chicken in here in the bottom. Oh, and we're going to add yeah, and we're going to add the onions in now. And now in a bowl, we're going to combine the cream of the celery, cream of bacon, Cream of 
bacon. Bacon makes everything better. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Certainly does. Ooh, it's snowing out there. Is it? Huh. And the sun is shining. It oh is. my goodness, remember when the kids from Africa were here? <gasps> yes. And it was sunny, sunny, sunny out, and it was and there was tons of snow on the ground. And they were like, but we don't understand, Auntie Kelly. How can there be <laughs> snow on the ground when it's sunny? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. That was so cute. Okay, we are gonna add in a tablespoon of parsley. Oh, you can tell it's winter. I'm using plastic measuring uh, utensils in the savvy. <laughs> and we're gonna add in a teaspoon of the poultry seasoning. Uh, I just don't know if my teaspoon's not going to fit in there. Okay. You have different teaspoons. Yeah, that one will fit. And a little bit of pepper. We're not going to have a, not a lot of pepper. Just a little bit. Now we are going to mix this all up. Smells good already. <laughs> that, and now we're going to add in our two cups of chicken broth. And this Homemade is going to go. Homemade bone broth. Yeah. Yes, it is. Yeah, which I already told him it was homemade here. I know, I just wanted to <laughs> shove it a little bit deeper. Uh, <laughs> nothing like patting yourself on the back, right here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the vegetables and the biscuits are going to be done at the end. So what will happen approximately an hour before serving, it's about four hours cooking time. We're gonna roll these biscuits. I think they're already pre, uh, yeah. pre cut and stuff. It says into four strips. Add vegetables when I'm ready. Here, let's uh, just angle this up and have a look at everybody. Uh, we will bring everybody back when I'm ready to add the vegetables and the biscuits. So stay tuned. Hey folks, welcome back. It is the four hour mark. So now what we're gonna do is we are gonna throw in our vegetables in, and then we are going to open up our biscuit, roll them out, cut them just like the directions and add them in. So with this portion here, they tell us you have to be fairly quick because you wanna keep as much heat in the crock pot as you can. So the first thing we are gonna do Okay, we're going to add these in and we're going to stir, uh, stir 
secure them in. Like I said, we got one we very, very quickly to do this because we don't want all the, we want that heat to stay in, so we're going to stir it up. Right now, you're going to open up our biscuits. flat they they cut them into a boat strips of four so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna grab a plate and throw those on Tell you this chicken smells yummy. So once again, we're going to have to do this fairly quickly because we've got to get the, uh, we'll have to get the lid back on and get this heat in. I 
said, we're just dropping them in. Let this go for another hour. Well, it may be a little bit longer. They, they did mention that if, uh, uh, if the dumplings aren't quite cooking, you can go a little bit longer. But so anyway, so uh, the, the person that wrote the recipe out said after 60 minutes, the dumplings are good. So there you have it. Uh, the dumplings are in. And we're going to let it go for another hour and we will bring you back. Okay, it is fine. And we are going to take this chicken out. I have to just get in here and find it. We got all these dumplings in here. Oh, it's already kind of falling apart. We want to take the chicken out. We're going to shred it up a little bit. Mm. Smells good. Yeah, so hurry up because it smells good. <laughs> yeah, don't listen to the peanut gallery. <laughs> So we're just, uh, oh, that's some of the dumpling. <laughs> okay. Just, um, just rend it up a little bit, not too much. I think there's still another piece in there. It's really hard to tell. All the, oh, there it is. Yeah. The dumplings are... Uh, Dump that back in. Let's give it another, another stir. Put it on, give it another 10 minutes, and then we okay, we are gonna serve up our nice chicken and sauce in there. Oh. It smells delicious. Okay. We'll bring you back over at the table. Okay. Ready for the taste test. We got some Dumplings, mm. chicken. Oh, there we go. Mm. Just trying to get a little bit of both. Mm. That is good. That is good. Mm -hmm. You know what? <laughs> What's funny about this? Kind of tastes like a turkey dinner all rolled into one bowl. <laughs> Mm -hmm. mm. I just need some cranberries on the side. Oh, that is delicious. Now, if you're not a sage person, don't put the poultry seasoning. We like it, so it's fine. Yeah. And it tastes good. You can substitute. You can pretty well, you know, kind of mm. add any, any kind of spices. Dumplings come out good. Mm -hmm. Well, biscuit dumpling, yeah. But, yeah. Mm. It's very good. Well, I don't know what I'm going to do for next week because next week 
will be Christmas Eve. Mm. It will be. It'll be uh, the 24th. Maybe I can like convince I them to make some gingerbread. <gasps> Maybe. That'd Maybe be, not. That'd be fun. We'll see. Anyways, I want to thank everybody for joining me today. Don't forget, only eight days till Christmas. But for those people who live in Winnipeg, well, we got to do curbside pickup. <laughs> Unless you're buying tools. Yep. <laughs> Okay, I want to thank everybody for joining us this week, and uh, stay tuned for uh, next week's show. Don't know what it is. Take care. We'll see you.